you've ever had bad fruit production because of poor pollinization, you know how frustrating it can be. Now, there's two things you can do. You can either pretend like you're a bee, fly around with one of these little Q-tips and actually go from flower to flower, and that works great. I've done that many times. Or else you can employ some of the hardest working guys you'll ever get in your garden, which are the orchard mason bees. Now, orchard mason bees actually look like a, well, here's one here. They actually look like a big fly, but they're not a fly at all. And they don't sting unless really provoked. And I've been told that even when you really provoke them, they still don't want to sting you at all. So they're great to have around. Now, these little guys will pollinate millions and millions of, of flowers each and every day. Like they're really, really busy little guys. Now, one of the things you should be worried about or thinking about early in the spring is getting these guys to come into your orchard. Now, there's a couple ways you can do it. You can either present uh, things like Pieris, which, uh, which is a nice green bush like this, and that'll attract orchard mason bees to your yard. Uh, the other way, which is a lot easier, is to put a nice home for them, and you can actually go to the local garden center and buy them and just stick them in. Now, what you would do is you could buy a, a home like we have here, which basically is, is set up with a whole bunch of 5 16 holes and they go into about 5 or 6 inches into, uh, into this block of plastic here and that will make a nice home for them. You place the home on a east or south facing wall about 4 to 5 feet high. Now they like to be out of the rain and out of the wind. They need a little bit of protection. Now if you want to work these two together, the Pieris and the home together, it's great. You can actually plant the Pieris by the uh, box and it'll do a great job at attracting more bees to your home. So once you've got your home in place, you can go to the local garden center and they will actually sell you these little cocoons. Now these little cocoons are in a dormant stage. You keep them in a uh, cool place like a refrigerator and then when they're ready, when the, the temperature is uh, roughly around 16 degrees, most homes will have a little sort of alcove here and what you do is they'll have a little hole so you just peel back the, the tape, there's a little hole and you just set them in plunk it there and then when the temperature becomes warm enough they'll come out and you'll see these little guys flying all over the place and in not too long you'll have a great colony so if you're looking at a, an easier way to pollinate all your trees rather than going around with a q-tip you might want to try the orchard mason bee